IB Math for You is made to make math easy for you. And today we will be discussing logarithmic differentiation. With lots of practice and lots of hard work, you will get there. So let's begin. Using logarithmic differentiation, we can differentiate functions in the form of y equals a to x, where a is a constant, meaning it could be a number like 5, 10, or 15. And to find the general formula for the derivative, we must first take the natural log of both sides, meaning that ln y equals to ln a to x, so it is written as x ln a instead. Now to differentiate both sides, we write it as ddx ln y equals ddx x ln a. And next step, on the left hand side we use implicit differentiation, on the right hand side we just differentiate it as normal. So dy dx equals x y ln a. Since y equals a to x, dy dx equals a to x ln a. And if for example, y equals to 5 to x, dy dx equals 5 to x ln 5. And for another question, where y equals 10 to power sign x, we do the same thing, apply the same principles. So ln y equals to ln 10 sin x. So sin x ln 10 is equivalent. One, o 1 over y times dy dx equals to cos x ln 10 as we follow the same procedure, and then we multiply by y, which means that we multiply by 10 sin x. So it's 10 sin x cos x ln 10. That's our final answer. So another application we'll be looking at is to make, make it convenient to differentiate complicated functions, such as cube root of x squared plus 2 over x cubed plus 4x. L so we write ln y equals to ln x squared plus 2 to third minus ln x cubed plus 4x squared because of log, r log rules, because when you divide two things, you minus them. So it is much more convenient. And the indices can be pulled to the front. So it turns into a very easy to work with function. Next, we carry on with the same procedure to differentiate the right-hand side. However, this time it's more complicated as we have to use a chain rule. Since you can see that we multiply by the derivative of the function. So it's the function of a function, which makes things a bit complicated, but with lots of practice, you'll get there. So for the next step, we continue to simplify the right-hand side before we multiply by y. So we get 2x to 4 plus 8x squared minus uh, 3x to 4 plus 6x squared plus 4x squared plus 8 over 3 times x squared plus 2 times x cubed plus 4x. And then we finally get a really nice number, a nice expression, which is minus 8 minus 2x squared minus 4x to 4 over 3 times x, to x squared plus 2 times x cubed plus 4x. And in the end, we just operate it like, w like the following procedure. And we'll end up with minus 8 minus 2x squared over minus, minus x to 4 over 3 times x, cu x, squared plus x squared plus 2 to the 2 thirds times x cubed plus 4 squared. So practice, and it's really easy. So bye-bye. See you next time. The end.